Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth, so viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. It just felt like an air horn kind of day. Hi y'all. My little chickadees, I'm so excited for today's video because I get to talk about my love, my passion, my Lethal Cosmetics. Lethal recently launched the Night Flower Collection. Now, it's no surprise, I love Lethal with all my heart. And I get so excited for their releases because one, their quality is always amazing and their color stories are truly top notch. Now, full disclosure, I am an affiliate with Lethal Cosmetics, meaning I do have a code. I don't get any money from the code, but if you are interested in ever wanting to check it out, use to go garbage to get 10% off your order. But for the month of March, there's an even better code out there. If you use the code Amanda, you can save 20% off your order. Not entirely sure if it goes towards the new collection. I think it might, I don't know. And Amanda is makeup just for fun, who is like, I'm, I just, I love her. I love her. <laughs> Listen, at the end of the day, if I know there's gonna be a better deal for y'all, I'm just gonna let y'all know about it, okay? When I'm like so Southern today. It's my Southern hospitality, y'all. I just want you to save some money. But of course, if you do not wanna go on Lethal's website, they also do have a US retailer, which is Camera Ready Cosmetics, which I love and adore as well. And I do have a coupon code with them, so it's the code garbage. Again, don't make any money off of it. It's just for y'all to use and abuse, okay? <laughs> Anyway, now that I got all that out of the way, at the end of the day, even though this was sent to me in PR, and even though I love them with my whole heart, okay, I'm still critical about them. Why? Because I don't lie. <laughs> It just, it's not on brand for me, all right? I'm garbage and I'm gonna give you the garbage honest truth about stuff. It's just how we roll on this channel. Lethal released Night Flower Collection, which is comprised of a 12 pan palette, four eyeliners, and three new highlighters in a duochrome formula. So let's talk about the palette first. So this bad boy retails for $50 and you get 12 shades, six mattes, two metallics, one duochrome, and three multi-chrome. The outside packaging is adorable. It's very simple. And if you do like the outside palette and not so much the contents in side of it. What is so great about Lethal is that you can just buy the actual palette on its own and you could fill it with the Lethal color story that speaks to you. And that's what I love about this brand because it's like, well, you know, maybe you don't like one or two shades. You could pop them out and put something else there. So with that said, let's break it down by formula starting with the mattes first. So as I mentioned, you do get six mattes in this palette. And in today's video, I'm going to show you three different looks that I created. Also, I got a new lens. So two of the looks are very up close. And then the last one is a little bit farther away. I'm still trying to get used to this um, room. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Anyway, let's talk about the mats. All the mats are incredibly cool tone, which I love and appreciate because I'm a cool tone bitch after all. Now, starting with the first shade, which is Moonbeam, which is pretty much me. <laughs> color of my skin because I'm so fucking pale. This is classified as a neutral ivory, meaning it's parboiled chicken. And I think it's okay as an inner corner highlight. Like it's not bright enough to be like a stark white highlight. You do build it up, but it's a nice like soft little touch. And the same goes if you're using it for the inner portion of the lid. It's very subtle. It's pretty, but it's subtle. And being that this matches my skin tone, I think it's best used when I want to diffuse the intensity of a shade. Now Lethal's mattes are fucking pigmented, like fucking pigmented. And if you look like me, a crumpled CB Yes, receipt. You can look like someone punch you in the fucking eye. <laughs> I love this shade because it diffuses the harshness of some of the shades because my skin tone is paper. And I really love using it above the crease just to kind of give that crease shade a little bit of a softer edge as I start to blend out. It's very, very pretty. Now the next shade after that is Dahlia, which is this one right here. And this is like a pinky purple shade. There is a touch of fallout, but it blends beautifully on the lid. And most importantly, it doesn't cause any motherfucking staining. Now the next shade is so fine. I think it's Lithophyte, which is this one right here. And I'm probably butchering the fucking name of it, sorry. This is a medium deep taupe with purple undertones. This is a great shade because I use this primarily as like a crease shade. Being that this was my skin tone, I often find myself using this shade as a starting point sometimes, especially if I'm looking for a much more like moody look. Again, it's fucking pigmented. So a combination of Moonbeam does make it softer. And the same kind of goes for this shade down here, which is Circadian, which is a gray with blue undertones. And again, Moonbeam comes to the rescue just 
to make it a touch softer. And what I really like about this shade too is that it pairs really, really well with the blue shades in the palette. It makes like a beautiful, like a spooky water feel. Like it's really cool. The shade after that is Wisteria. And this is a medium tone lavender. A combination of this and Dahlia. I fucking love it. It's actually what I have in my eyes today. It's just so pretty. It makes for a beautiful purple pinky gradient. And of course, the last matte is Midnight. And this one is considered like a rich, deep eggplant color. Now that shade serves as the darkest shade in the palette. And my only complaint is that I wish it was just a little bit darker. It provides dimension, but I would have loved for an even darker purple. I don't know, maybe someone just has to create it, just saying. Anyway, overall, I had a really great experience playing with the mattes, and I'm happy to report that I had the same experience across the board. With the exception of the parboiled chicken shade, all the mattes are incredibly, incredibly pigmented. They have great longevity, they blend beautifully, and I didn't notice any patchiness between the shades. Making purples in general is quite tricky, and I really think they did a great job at it. Again, no staining out of the bunch, which is a fucking miracle. The only thing annoying I would have to say about the mattes is that there is a little bit of fallout, and it's not the easiest to clean. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. So I found that the best solution is just to do my eye makeup first and then my base and blah 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 and then I'm fine. So now we're going to move on to the metallics of the palette which there are two metallics and we're going to talk about the first one which is this guy over here and his name is called Knox. And this is a purple metallic with specks of red. Now I didn't notice the specks of red at all until I used like my camera light and was like oh okay like they're very 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 subtle like I, I didn't even really really fucking notice it. And personally, I don't think it really added anything to the shade. Like it doesn't hurt it, but it doesn't benefit it either. It's kind of like, okay, all right, it's red. That said, like what I like about the shade is that it's like a really beautiful, like a royal great purple. It's really pretty. And it blends beautifully with the shade Twilight. Oh my God, bitch, I'm obsessed. And it was actually the first look I ever created with this palette, which I'll pop a picture over here. I was like, fucking yes, yes. <laughs> I love the blend of the two. It's just so fucking pretty. It truly made my makeup dick hard and I appreciate that. Now, the other metallic shade we have down here and this is Night Long and this is a deep blue with light blue and pink specks. Now, it's funny because the combination of the specks make it for a much more like purple tone. So while I don't think it had any added benefit to the Knox shade like these specks, like I mentioned, I think it does something for Night Long. This one is great as well and it pairs so fucking beautifully with the shade Aurora. Oh my God. God, bitch, I love it. <laughs> So anyway, I applied both of these shades with some glitter glue. And for the most part, I found that it didn't create too much like unnecessary glitter bukkake. But you do get some fallout. Again, can be like kind of difficult to clean depending on your brush. I feel like if I use a smaller brush, I don't really have to deal with too much with fallout. But if I use say like, I guess more like a medium sized brush, which is what I traditionally use, that's when it creates a little bit more fallout. Now the texture of both of these shadows are a little bit crumbly, but once applied to the eye, it doesn't create any sort of weird texture. Texture. Everything applies very, very smoothly, very evenly. And I think using the glitter glue definitely keeps everything into place. So like throughout the day, you don't have to experience any like cracking or falling. The longevity is perfect. And I also want to say I didn't experience any sort of like texture when using glitter glue or even just using like a little saturation on the brush, like a little bit of water, no texture whatsoever. And I really loved how these paired very well with the other like multi crumbs and duo crumbs in this palette. They really make just such easy as fuck gradients. Like it's so pretty. Now I'm going to move on to like the duochromes and the multi-chromes, but I'm gonna start with the duochrome, which is this one up here. This is Twilight and this is the lavender to gold duochrome. This one is fucking beautiful. Lethal shimmer formulas are definitely on the drier side. So yeah, you're gonna get a little bit of fallout. You are gonna experience a little bit of crumbliness. Sometimes I feel like the swatch is also like a little lackluster, but when applied with a saturated brush or a little bit of glitter glue, bitch, I am fucking sold. <laughs> the shadow goes on perfectly opaque and you don't have to spend a lot of time building up opacity. Everything just looks so fucking awesome. So yes, you do experience a little bit of Tinkerbell shitting on your face, but the payoff is worth it in my opinion. It's alien slut amazing this for your eye holes. And I love, love, love the fucking shift on this one. It's so evident. And again, it just, it pairs so beautifully with the Knox shade. Oh my God, I'm obsessed, I love it. So yeah, I didn't experience any difficulty with the shade. And if you are familiar with Lethal's duochrome formula, then you know what you're working with. Last but not least, let's talk about the multi-chromes. There are three in this palette. I'm gonna start with the best one in my opinion, and that is Allure. This beautiful sparkly little multi-chrome shifts from champagne, green gold to red. And I really love that out of the three shades, this is the one shade that I could really see the shade 
shift clearly. Much like the duochrome formula, this formula is definitely on the drier side, meaning that yes, it is crumbling, so you are gonna experience a little bit of fallout with it, but once applied with a saturated brush or some glitter glue, you're fucking good to go. Now, the next one is Aurora, which is this one right here. This one is so fucking pretty, but I don't see the full shift. This is supposed to shift from light blue to green to pink. I need to hold like a light to it and kind of angle it in such a way for me to actually see the full shift. To me, it kind of really pairs more as a duochrome. Like I could see blue to green. It's just the pink. I'm like, where the fuck is it? Like I can't find it. Now I really love, love, love when it's paired with this shade, Nightfall. It's such a beautiful blue moment where it kind of goes from like this blue, green, deep blue moment. It's just so fucking pretty. I love using those two together. So I'm kind of torn because they technically, like it is a multi-chrome technically, right? Because if you angle it in a way, you can see the shift. But in my eyes, I feel like this is more of a duochrome because I cannot see the shift on the eyelid but I don't give a fuck because I think it's a duochrome. I think it's really, really pretty. Now, the last one I'm gonna talk about is this one over here, and this one's called Even Fall. And this one shifts from like a cranberry pink to blue. Now, I think on its own, yes, you can see the shift very clearly, but I think I fucked it up by pairing this over a darker shade. I think when I did that, I lost a little bit of the shift, so it kind of just appeared more of like a duochrome for me. But beyond that though, I think for me, this is my least favorite shade of the palette, and this is just kind of based on personal preference. I don't think I look good with these types of colors. I don't know, like I wanna like them. I personally don't like how I look with those colors on my eyes. I feel like it's a fine line between like looking cool or looking like I got into like a knockdown drag out fight over some Culver's cheese curds, you know what I mean? And bitch, if you know, you fucking know, all right? Those cheese curds are worth fighting for. <laughs> But yeah, I don't like this color particularly on my parboiled chicken ass. Like it just looks weird. Looks like someone punched me in the face. I hate it. <laughs> but you know what? I'm fine with it. Like not everything is really gonna work for everybody. So like having one shade that is just not a fan of, that, that's fine. That said, you know, kind of comparing these multi-chromes to the multi-chromes they recently released, which if you are not aware of those, I will link that video in the corner. I think my preference lies with those multi-chromes, the ones that were initially launched. I like that formula better one because it feels a little bit more slick and it's less dry. I feel like there's a lot more versatility with those shades, meaning like I can layer them over dark mattes or even lighter mattes and it won't take away from the multi-chrome. And I like being able to see the shift more evidently because multi-chromes, in my opinion, they need to be on their own. You know, like they're the fucking main star of the show. And when you don't see the full shift, it's like you don't see their full potential. It's like, eh, it's kind of annoying. So like my preference is with the more expensive, obviously because I'm such a bougie fucking bitch, I like those multi-chromes better. But anyway, with that that said, the formula for these, like I had the same experience with them, which is good. I applied them with glitter glue. These played well with the other shadows. I didn't have any issues of like patchiness or longevity. It's just the formula is a bit on the drier side and yeah, there's a little bit of a chunk to them. But once applied with saturation, like it just looks so beautiful and opaque and just slutty goodness on your eyeballs. They're very, very beautiful. Overall, I really enjoyed this palette a lot. And I feel like as of late, I've been kind of more of like a grungy green, more of a neutral bitch. And this is kind of like a welcome change for me. I think there's enough variety in this palette where you can get a lot of gorgeous looks. And I really like that there is a variety of finishes in this palette. So it's not just like shimmers and mattes. Like you do get some multi-crumbs, you do get some duo crumbs. You get a lot of shit here. And while I do appreciate that they are trying new things with the multi-crumbs, I think they can do a little bit more fine tuning with some of the shades. And I look forward to future releases, especially when they add these more like affordable or like cheaper multi-crumbs in them. But at the end of the day, had I spent my own money on this palette, I wouldn't be upset. This is a solid palette. Other than not really liking this shade, based on a personal preference. I would just pop this fucker out, put another lethal multi-chrome in and I'd be good to go. In general, purples are very, very difficult to make. And the fact that there's no staining or patchiness is a fucking win in my book. I also really just love playing with this color story. Ever since I received it, I have not put it down. I can see the different possibilities and I really just love that it's cool tone. It's so pretty. So yeah, I think this is a great standalone palette as well as a companion piece. This is really fucking awesome. So, so if you are interested, check it out. Now, moving on to the liners in this collection, there are four liners and they all retail for $15.50 a piece. Now, if you're new here, I live and breathe lethal liners. I have very sensitive, sensitive watery eyes. So finding eyeliners that will actually stay in my waterline is a fucking challenge. And I love when people recommend eyeliners to me because like nine out of 10 times, they don't work. Like it'll look great for an hour and then like my fat ass waterline eats it. <laughs> so in this collection, we have Harmony, which is a periwinkle matte, Fidelity, a rich purple matte, Polarity, 
a deep blue with light blue reflex that have a semi-metallic finish, and Melody, which is a mauve finish. Now, Melody and Harmony required an extra layer when putting into the waterline, and that's not uncommon when sometimes the eyeliner is a little bit more on the pastel-y side. I have to like double up, but what I love about this formula is that even if you do layer it, it doesn't crack, it doesn't fade, it doesn't get like a weird texture. Everything is incredibly smooth. So once I got the opacity to where I wanted it to be, it was perfect. And honestly, I feel like Melody is going to be my go to fall shade. Like it's just so fucking pretty. Fidelity also worked really, really well in my waterline as well. Now let's talk about polarity. Fuck me up, bitch. First of all, I have, like I mentioned, sensitive, sensitive eyes. So anything with lots of glitter, I stay away from. Even with a little bit of glitter, I'm like, ooh, bitch, I, I'm not about getting a fucking reaction. So honestly, I was a little bit nervous at first because I was like, oh shit, it has glitter in it. I want to be hopeful it's going to work, but this could fuck me up. And I'm so happy to say that I didn't have any sort of reaction at all. It's so fucking perfect. And I love that it's a small amount of sparkle in the waterline. It's so fucking pretty when it catches the light. Oh my God. It's like people are kind of drawn to that section of your eye. Like, oh, what do you have in your waterline? It's so fucking pretty. I love it. So like I mentioned, since it's like a small amount of glitter and I really only use these eyeliners in the waterline, you do see that little subtle like reflectiveness in it, which is really pretty. Now you could totally use these as decorative liner. I am not that fucking talented. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I finally got okay at putting like black eyeliner on the top of my lash line. And still I'm like, oh bitch, this is a slippery slope. But like, I am just not good at it. I admire those that can make a really beautiful, beautiful wings and can like just do so much fucking artistry. Like I love that. It's just not my journey and that's okay. But if you are a bitch that likes that, rest assured these bitches do very, very well as decorative liner. I know that for a fact because my friends here on YouTube have used it as decorative liner and it's just gorgeous. Anyway, I really look forward to more colors in this formula in the future. <gasps> fucking beautiful. I love it. I'm obsessed. I can't have, I need more. I need more. Also, besides being the best thing that you could put in your waterline, because these motherfuckers stay in place, you could also use these as a base under your eyeshadow as well. So if you're looking for a little bit more intensity in some shadows, which I mean, lethal shadows are fucking pigmented. Do you need any more intensity? Probably. It's 2022. The world's on fire. Sure. <laughs> We're all going down in a blaze of glory. We might as well look like Mad Max characters. Then yes, add a little intensity to your day. <laughs> I love these little guys. I think they're fucking awesome. If you have sensitive eyes, don't worry. You are in good hands. Dare I say, this is probably one of my favorite things about this brand is their eyeliners. I have them all. I love them. Love them to pieces. But I feel like in a way, they're kind of getting dethroned here because I want to talk about these motherfucking highlighters, okay? So the Duochrome highlighter retails for $20 a piece and I have all three of them. If you are curious, this case I did buy myself from Lethal Cosmetics when they were launching their blushes and bronzers and all that good stuff. And uh, here you go. Here are the three duochrome highlighters that we're going to talk about today. So the first one you have is Halo, which shifts from green to blue. Atomic shifts from gold to red. And finally, Stellar, which shifts from blue to violet. It doesn't matter which one you get. Get one, get them all. They are fan-fucking-tastic. Okay, bitch. Like, oh my god. I'm fucking obsessed, bitch. <laughs> I am though, seriously. I am like, I'm in love. I'm so in love with these. Lethal's highlighter formula is on the drier side, meaning that when you do swatch them, honestly, sometimes the swatch is not the most impressive. Yes, it will be a little chunk, a little fallout, and you're just like, oh, okay, so it's just okay. But the beauty of Lethal's formula is that they're so fucking skin-like. It's bananas, bananas. So when you apply this with a brush and as you buff it into the skin, it looks oddly fucking natural. Even though these are motherfucking duochrome highlighters, it looks natural. Like, oh, like, no, no, you're supposed to glisten pink. <laughs> like, it's so weird. I love it so much. You know, it's so funny. Like, I feel like my preference is always with a much more like, you know, wet kind of formula when it comes to highlighters. But I think in Lethal's case, it's like, I don't care about the journey. So yeah, maybe it does look a little unimpressive when swatching out. But if it can make me look like a powerful bitch, I'm fucking sad. So yeah, I don't care about the journey. As long as the end result makes me look like I'm fucking the supreme leader, we're fine. And it's funny because like based on the swatch of these, I was like, like, all right, like the, sh the shift is gonna, is subtle. It's gonna be a much more like subtle, sophisticated slut. No, <laughs> it's 
it's not, it's not at all. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's the meat sweats. It's everything that I look for in a highlighter. Basically, it's not for the faint of heart. And I love that it has this very glassy skin feel, so it doesn't emphasize any texture, any dry skin. Like I said, it just looks so fucking natural. And their longevity is fucking amazing. Now, if you combine the highlighters together, oh, bitch, it's like crossing the streams effect, okay? And it's very similar to what happens in Ghostbusters, meaning you're gonna show that prehistoric bitch goes or how you do things downtown. So when someone ultimately asks if you're a god, you say yes. Actually, you don't really have to because your highlighter will say yes for you. I'm beyond obsessed. I love them all. Just get them all. <laughs> fucking good. Not one is better than the other. They are perfect children in my eyes. And honestly, kind of based off this launch, like I'm so fucking excited to see what Lethal is going to be coming out in 2022. It's going to be pretty fucking exciting. So yeah, I love this whole collection. I think it's great. I think if you're familiar with Lethal, then you know what you're working with. And for me, like obviously the standouts are the highlighters as well as the polarity eyeliner and shit, even the palette, even with the one shade not being for me, it's still, it's such a fucking fun look. Like they're just so fun. So yeah, while I didn't like one shade due to a personal preference, I think it's a really beautiful, unique color story. So with that said, let me know down below if you are interested in anything in this collection, if you're going to be picking up anything or if you're going to be skipping out or if you want to see me review something else let me know i love hearing from y'all and with that said i want to say thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate it as always feel free to like comment hit that subscribe button it's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts follow me on twitter instagram patreon to all my beautiful wonderful patron bubbies i love your adorable little delicious faces i just want to just gobble you all up and i just adore the hell out of you thank you so much for keeping this delicious disgusting filthy garbage trashy nasty really weird gross alien ass garbage butter float i couldn't do without you and i love your adorable little delicious faces if you want to know what's currently on my face which spoiler alert it mostly is lethal stuff everything will be listed in the description box below and i'll see you little aliens later bye